This morning, President Obama is returning from a highly secret, super fast trip to Afghanistan. And in a televised speech last night, he said, with the war winding down, Afghanistan and the U.S. can see the light of a new day. Bill Plant is at the White House this morning to bring us up to date. Bill, what did you make of the president's speech last night? Well, Gail, the speech was uh, very interesting for its timing and for the location. He's in the air this morning, of course, as you said, on his way back to Washington after a stealth trip halfway around the world. Now, there was official business to do there. There was an agreement to sign. There were U.S. troops to greet. But the timing of the trip on the anniversary of the death of Osama bin Laden makes it likely to be viewed also as part of his reelection effort. In a trip lasting just over six hours, President Obama addressed the United States from Bagram Air Base in Afghanistan. He said the tide of battle has turned over the last three years, the time he's been in office, and that the U.S. has devastated al-Qaeda's leadership. And one year ago, from a base here in Afghanistan, our troops launched the operation that killed Osama bin Laden. The goal that I set to defeat al-Qaeda and deny it a chance to rebuild is now within our reach. The top secret trip began and ended in darkness. Mr. Obama went from the airbase to a midnight meeting with Afghan President Hamid Karzai, where the two leaders signed an agreement committing the U.S. to continue sending military advisors and aid after combat troops go home in 2014. The president also greeted the men and women stationed at Bagram. Two years ago, he agreed to a surge of 30,000 U.S. troops into Afghanistan, bringing the total number serving there to more than 100,000. By September, the president has promised that number will be closer to 65,000. I recognize that many Americans are tired of war. I will not keep Americans in harm's way a single day longer than is absolutely required for our national security. But we must finish the job we started in Afghanistan and end this war responsibly. There are still questions about the readiness of the Afghan forces to whom the U.S. troops will hand over the job of keeping the peace in Afghanistan. But commanders are starting to see progress on the ground. For the first time, I felt as though there was some sense of nationhood there that, frankly, I hadn't felt for maybe the previous eight years. The president's trip comes now just six months before the election and in a week where his campaign has come under fire as Republicans accuse him of using the bin Laden victory to score political points. But this morning, there was a statement from the likely Republican nominee, Mitt Romney. It keeps the focus on the troops, simply saying, we are united as one nation in our gratitude to our country's heroes. Gail, Charlie. Bill Plant, thank you very much.